Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I want to show you how to make this English paper piece ornament. And this is actually a very simple one, even if it looks hard. What you're going to need are six diamonds. They can be any size, as long as they are the same size. So the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and attach these together with a matching thread so that it doesn't show. So you can see that if you use a matching thread, it disappears nicely. So your next step will be to take these six pieces and place them together so that they fan out. So you'll have this. Now at this stage, all I've done is a flat back stitch or a whip stitch to put these together. The next thing we'll need to do is we're going to start joining some of these different sides together. So I'm going to show you one that I've already done a few of the sides, but see, you'll connect this side with this side, this side with this side. So I hope that makes sense. So let me get my needle that has the white thread on it because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Now you can see I've already joined this seam and this seam. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start on this side. I'm gonna go through this point here. Now as you can see, I have the white thread. Now these tails for the diamond, I just keep sticking them in and just kind of getting them out of the way because they're gonna be fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a little bit from this corner and it's okay if you get the paper because you're leaving the paper in and then go back over to this side so see now I've got one stitch going between both pieces of green now my next stitch I'm going to go back into the fabric right by the first one and go under on one side pull it through and then I'm just going to do another stitch across. You see that? And really the key is to keep these all very close to the same size. Now, unfortunately the white thread is not showing up as much as I had hoped it would for you guys. One thing I do want to encourage you is to not fold these paper pieces at all because you want to keep the integrity of the shape. So let me see if I can go a little bit faster to get to the end here. So you can see I'm just grabbing one side, coming across, going back through, and pulling. jumped out of my hand. I'm just going to do a little bit bigger stitches so that we can get to the end. Keep going. Going down. You see I'm just grabbing both fabrics after I run down one side. Now I poke those tails back in. And you're going to join all these sides together. And what's exciting is I have several different shapes. I've used these diamonds to create, and I plan to do a video for each one. So hopefully you'll follow along and create these as well. Find me on my Facebook page so you can share your projects with me. I would love to see what you come up with. I keep finding all these very fun holiday fabrics and I keep thinking, oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. Like I just picked these up the other day. Aren't they cute? 
Okay, so I'm all the way here to the end. I'm gonna do a stay stitch. Or not a stay stitch, but make a little knot. And the way that I'm hiding these threads is I'm just going back through the fabric, coming out somewhere further down the line, and just trimming off that extra. Oops. So, now the loop. This is embroidery thread. I'm going to come up through the top with this point. I don't actually have an embroidery needle, so it's not very long. So I'm gonna come through this point. And then come back through and then put a knot on that end. So then I have a nice holder for this ornament. As you can see there. So then after you get that loop in, you want to go ahead and continue stitching the same way all these sides and tuck those tails in. And what you'll end up with is this really awesome shape. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you see all the new videos that come out. Thanks so much. Happy sewing.